Hey everyone, it's Easter now, so what better way to celebrate it than with the classic 1961 biblical epic, King of Kings. Now in 63 BC, the Roman armies, led by General Pompey, conquered Jerusalem. Now after that, the Jewish people continue to rebel against Roman rule, resulting in Herod the Great being placed on the Judean throne. Now at that time, Jesus is born in Bethlehem, but escapes before Herod sends his soldiers to kill him. Now years later, Pontius Pilate, as played by Herod Hatfield, arrives to become the governor. Now with the Pilate's arrival, two different things happen. One, Pilate is attacked by a group of Jewish fighters led by Barabbas, Harry Gardino, and Judas Iscariot, Rip Torn. And two, John the Baptist, as played by Robert Ryan, starts preaching and baptizing in the wilderness, with one of his baptisms including a now-grown Jesus, Jeffrey Hunter. Now, Barabbas' attack is followed by the arrival of Herod Antipas, Frank Thring, with his own troops, although oh, Barabbas gets away in the process. And uh, Jesus goes into the wilderness for about 40 days. Now, upon returning, Jesus recruits his disciples, including Judas. Judas convinces Barabbas to try listening to Jesus, but uh, he disagrees with Jesus' message of peace. Meanwhile, Herod Antipas has arrested John the Baptist and has him beheaded at the behest of his stepdaughter, Salome. Bridget Baslin. Now, after preaching throughout Judea, Jesus comes to Jerusalem, which... Barabbas uses as an opportunity to try attacking the Romans. However, the Roman troops are prepared for the attack and massacre the people. And capture Barabbas. Now, this forces Judas to betray Jesus in the hopes that he will use his power to defeat the Romans. Okay, now let's get one quick and very obvious point out of the way here. Being a movie about the life of Christ from his birth to his death and resurrection... Obviously, this movie qualifies as both a Christmas movie and an Easter one. Phew! Now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about this movie. Obviously, it's not completely accurate according to the Bible and history. Now, the movie makes Barabbas out to be a zealot fighting for Israel's freedom from Roman rule, with Jesus Iscariot helping him, and making that his motive for turning Jesus into the priest instead of greed like the Gospel of John indicates. Still, in spite of differences like those, it's an interesting way to look at the story, giving us two men, Jesus and Barabbas, as potential messiahs, depending upon how the people at the time were interpreting the scriptures. Since I know the Jewish people at the time were looking to get out from under Roman rule and weren't as likely to prefer Jesus' message of peace as much. Now, when it comes down to my actual opinion of this movie, I really like it. I'll admit, from my own movie watching experience, I don't recognize most of the cast outside of Orson Welles as the narrator and Robert Ryan as John the Baptist. And I didn't even know who he was the first time I saw this movie either, which just goes to show how things have changed in about a decade or so since I first saw it. Now, I think Jeffrey Hunter does a great job here as Jesus, and the rest of the cast supports him well too. That being said, the only part of the movie I struggle with is the trial before Pilate leading up to the crucifixion. For me, that's when Jeffrey Hunter's performance fails a little, but that's as much the uh, movie in the times. Now, some things I get, like how violence is portrayed from that time period and in the movies, and I certainly respect the decision not to show Jesus being tortured, even though, in some respects, seeing what he went through is supposed to mean a lot in the grand scheme of things. I do struggle with the idea that for all that he was supposed to have gone through, this Jesus is barely bloodied up when he comes to the cross. I mean, it just seems like he was in better shape than he should have been when he had to walk the, the last part or with the cross and whatnot. Now, still, minor gripes aside, I do enjoy this movie, especially with the beautiful score by Mikos Rosa, I think is uh, just beautiful score. Helps this movie so much, and especially at this time of the year, or Christmas time too. I have no trouble whatsoever recommending this movie. Now, the movie is available on Blu-ray and DVD from Warner Home Video and is two hours and 51 minutes in length. Well, that should be all I have to say on this one, everybody. So thanks for listening and I hope you'll keep coming back for more.